so uh, in the previous video I did mention about this error which we were getting so well, normally what I do is that I log into github on my browser and it should be able to recognize it so what I do is I go to github website and log into github account here I am already logged in so um, that's fine um, but still we get this error so the reason for this is that I have two github accounts and sometimes you will have to clean up uh, the credentials from the credentials manager uh, so that the login pop-up comes again uh, I will show you what I mean so what I'll do is I'll go to credential manager so what I do is I click on windows and search for credential manager here and I click on Windows credentials. So under Windows credentials, um, most of the apps credentials are stored. So you can look for GitHub one and I can and see that I have this as well as this. So what I will do is I will just remove it. And I will also remove this GitHub accounts password. So basically I'm expecting now a pop up when I try to push it again. So I should see a pop up. So now you can see that I get a pop up and it gives me an option um, to sign in with my browser or sign in with a code so I will sign in with my, uh, my browser um, by the way I get this option because I have github desktop installed on my machine so that's why I get it so I will sign in with my browser now and it again pops up and I was already logged in into my github account so this time it is succeeded and you can see that the changes are being pushed to the repository to now now if I go to my github account and look for the latest repository uh, here you should see the repository I created now I go to repositories and first demo git repository updated 27 seconds ago so that is how um, you push your changes to the cloud so if I navigate to my repository here uh, you can see that both the files are there and even you can go to all the versions we have checked in it maintains all the versions too so it has the my first commit for this project and file is modified so um, if you go to the history even the history of the commits is being preserved when we push it to the central repository